Charlie. It's such a pleasure to be with you today, along with your family and friends, to celebrate your love and to solemnise your marriage. It's been said that marriage requires you to fall in love many times with the same person, and also that there is no more lovely, friendly or charming relationship than a great marriage. Marriage brings two people together so that they can enjoy their lives in partnership. From today, you will always have one another to lean on when times get tough, and you will certainly have someone to celebrate with when wonderful things happen. When your partner needs your strength, your reassurance or your care, you'll be there for them and they in turn will always be there for you. Jack and Charlie, we first met each other at school where Charlie tells me she fancied Jack even though she didn't know who he was. After connecting on Facebook you got together and Charlie recalls how easy it was to talk to Jack from the word go. Your relationship developed and whilst Charlie can't quite put her finger on the moment that she knew she loved Jack, she just came to realise that her life would simply not be the same without him in it. Jack, however, realised Charlie was a keeper when she bought him a fireman build bear at Christmas. <laughs> Charlie, of all of the things that make you special, Jack has told me that your drive and your passion inspire him the most. He loves that you are kind and funny and that you keep him grounded. He's also grateful that you get his sense of humour and for the fact you're a great cook. Since he fell in love with you, Jack knows what he wants from his life. Jack and Charlie, you've come to this place today to affirm your commitment and love for each other and to declare in front of your friends and family your hopes and desires for your lives together. I'd like to remind you that marriage requires you to enter into a solemn, binding and lifelong commitment to each other. From this day forwards, you will have to give of your best every day as you love, support, protect and respect your partner whatever challenges the future holds. With that in mind, the moment has come for you to make your sincere commitment to each other in front of your friends and family. Jack, would you like to take Charlie's hand? <laughs> That's for keeps. <laughs> Charlie, do you take Jack to be your husband? Do you promise to learn with him and grow with him even as time and life changes you both? Do you promise to share your life with him and love him as your husband and as your best friend? Do you promise to be honest, to listen, to love and support him unconditionally? And finally, do you promise to respect and cherish him for the rest of your lives together? I do. Thank you, Charlie. Jack, do you take Charlie to be your wife? Do you promise to learn with her and grow with her even as time and life changes you both? Do you promise to share your life with her and love her as your wife and best friend? Do you promise to be honest, to listen and to love and support her unconditionally? And finally, do you promise to respect and cherish her for the rest of your lives together? I do. May these hands and these rings be blessed this day. May they always hold on to each other. May they have the strength to hang on during the storms of stress and the inevitable dark moments of life. But may they remain tender and gentle and may they build a relationship that's founded in love and is rich in respect. May these hands protect, shelter and guide each other and may they always be there when they're needed for support in the ocean. Jack and Charlie, you've made your solemn and loving commitments to each other in front of your friends and family and you are now, in the eyes of the world, married. Jack, would you like to kiss your bride? Oh, <laughs> My name's David and I'm Jack's dad. Um, hang on. I named this ship. Oh no, sorry, that's the wrong speech. <clears throat> Thank you all for joining us to share and celebrate this wonderful occasion of Jack and Charlie's wedding. I've known Jack since he was a baby. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> and he hasn't changed a bit. <clears throat> well, that's not quite true. He didn't have a beard then. I've not known Charlie since she was a baby, so don't know if she had a beard or not. <laughs> we, we first met Charlie after she'd been staying at our house for about a fortnight. We'd noticed these shoes kept appearing downstairs. Jack finally introduced her and she's been part of our family ever since. Charlie is a great girl, very conscientious, 
always good, good company and very hard working. <coughs> As a couple, they both look fantastic today, as I'm sure you all agree. As a couple, they suit each other very well and have a lot of the same interests in common. Uh, we officially welcome Charlie to the Shrimpton family, though she's been part of our family since those shoes appeared first in our hallway. So I'd like to propose a toast to go with the patty. Please raise your glasses again to Jack and Charlie and wish them both every happiness for the future. Thank you. Jack and Charlie. Uh, I can only really think of the positive things to say about uh, Jack. And uh, it's really that he's a fantastic bloke. I love him. We have uh, great banter all the time. Uh, and the actual fact, the hardest thing uh, about writing this speech has been uh, looking for the uh, sort of things to make him embarrassed. <laughs> uh, I've known Charlie a few years now. Uh, uh, she, she's done an incredible job to uh, control what I can only say is the madness, <laughs> you know, <laughs> of Jack, or at least tone him down uh, just a little bit. Uh, to be honest, she's a, she's a great laugh, very kind, and uh, she's looking absolutely gorgeous today. So she's, she's got the whole package, uh, they've got the whole package, so uh, hats off to that. Um, I'm going to say to finish off and stop falling in love with Jack myself, <laughs> uh, I'd just like to say that they are uh, both uh, such a kind and lovely couple and um, uh, they, they do anything for their friends and family and i just like to say that we should all just raise a glass to the fact that they, that we should uh, show back the love towards them as they have given to all of us. So cheers to Jack and Charlie for the rest of the night, for the rest of their life, they deserve it. Cheers Jack and Charlie. Jack, as I researched the requirements for a father of the bride speech, it became clear that I'm supposed to impart some sanguine advice gleaned from my many years on the planet. Advice on how best to ensure a long and happy marriage, for example. Sadly, well, oops. That's not good. I'm being really careful what I say here. After 30 years of married life, I still haven't figured out how the females in the bird family work. So, good luck, mate. You're yeah. on your own. But if you do learn anything you know, useful, like just right. share it with me. So, what started out to be a well full of witty anecdotes to draw upon was now entirely dry. So, sadly, I can't mention about the infamous knickers incident. <laughs> or the jumping prawns. Or wanting to be a mermaid. Or her lifelong plans for working at McDonald's. <laughs> I, can't being I can't even mention being flushed down the loo by her brother. <laughs> I can't talk about when she half starved her siblings at supper time when she used to help out. One mouthful for, the ch for her brother and sister, five for Charlie. I can't mention her finishing off an entire Christmas stash of biscuits in one sitting. With your help. Cheat cheat. Right, hello everyone. Um, I'd like to say thank you everyone for coming today. It's lovely to see everyone. Um, I know some of you have come a long way. Uh, it means a lot that you can be here with us. Um, I'd like to say thanks to my amazing bride. He looks beautiful in her dress. Very lovely. And her, her bridesmaids as well. Um, I know she was a bit anxious leading up to, the, to today, but her bridesmaids and her, her girls have sort of kept her grounded and got her through it. And I think you're a lot calmer than me this morning, so I've heard. Um,